All right, here we go. Now we're now we're working. All right, today is uh, October the 20th. I'm here with uh, Jack Braden. Jack and I are getting ready to go to the uh, Eurofest event. Yeah, there what you happened go. to the lens? Well, I, <laughs> it, I usually mount it on my bicycle, uh -huh. but unfortunately it fell off one day and it cracked. Well, actually all it did was is it just broke just the protective glass, uh -huh. not the actual lens. So anyway, uh, Jack's got his uh, little Porsche over here. It's a nice economy model. Just a low-end one. Yeah. That's right. You were just saying it's great gas mileage. Yeah. I appreciate that. Fabulous blue color with super groovy tan leather. <laughs> nice cup holder there. It's got a dual cup holder. Dual. Yeah, I, I dual. should have guessed. Dual. Yeah. Probably twin turbo also, right? It is. Twin big turbos. Big turbos. The turbo S. That's right. There may be some psychological reasons behind that. But seriously, it is a fabulous car. And again, look at that detail there. Very nice. Ceramic brakes. No dust. That's no, the best part. No dust. That is good. Here we are, stuck in traffic, as usual. Let's see if I can get Jack to wave. I don't know if he waved or not, I couldn't tell. Well, good morning, Mike. I am videotaping now, so tell us all about uh, your life and your cars. And Western Tech cars. That's right. There we go. I don't know what to say. I enjoy them. I love them. He said he enjoys them and he loves them. A lot of work. A lot of work. All right. Thank you. All right. Today is October the 21st, 2017, and here we are at the Euro Auto Festival. Lancia. Some fun little cars. Kind of get an overview of the field. It's hard to see, but way off in the distance, there's a second fairway chock full of cars. Very fun. 1976 Lancia Scorpion. And then over here, here's a, the Ferrari 458. Retractable hard top, very fancy color. Ferrari 599 GTB V12 motor, very nice. And this is a uh, V8 motor over here. Very interesting, Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice old Jaguars. Here we go, 1971 Volkswagen Double Cab, complete with rust. Oh, that is cool. Back seat, got all his parts on display. Got his camper set up here. Fun. I'm not sure if he actually camped in here last night or not, but uh, looks like he certainly could have. Golf GTI VR6. That's fun. 
I had one of these a long time ago. Mine was white. Uh oh. Here's some Lotus automobiles. Very cool. So, Paul, you said one of the reasons that manufacturers like to locate here is the engineering base that's available here and also the quality of the people who say they want to work there. Can you talk about that for a second? Yes, I don't mind that at all, Chief. Uh, when we broke ground for BMW, we had Von Kuhnheim here, who was the chairman of the board at that time. Uh, and in a conversation with him, he said, you know, this is the first place we're going outside of Germany. Very cool, a little bamboo interior here. Well done. <laughs> Luggage rack. Craft. We were trying to get into the Corso Italiano, but the car understood that it was. Hmm. Not familiar with this. 1958 Volkswagen Roman Rometesh. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Very interesting custom. Coach built on a uh, Volkswagen chassis. A BMW M1, 1980 models. Very unique. BMW i8. McLaren, the orange, sort of copper orange McLaren. 1977 Porsche 911 Carrera 3.0 with the super groovy plaid interior. Very nice. I lived in Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> Opal GT. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Modified Opal GT with the two tone paint. Nice. <laughs> Very fun. This is the uh, German section over here. All German cars, obviously. Nice air conditioning, 1959. I'm sorry, 1957. And you have every European mark to choose from. You have exotics, you have Lamborghini, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, BMW, Porsche. This year, it's the Model T of the European world, Volkswagen. How did you come to that choice? You know, uh, I told David Genocopoulos, who's the president and CEO of Volkswagen, all the time, it takes a very proud people to build a world-class product. And Southerners are very proud. Hula girl. The third thing is we built your tech school system was so good that we could use it to help train our employees. Yeah, here we go. Fun little Volkswagen uh, windmill next to this super fabulous orange hopped up hopped up version. 
<laughs> Some older Jags, XK150. Very nice. Newer Jaguars. Super fast. Up on the hill, we've got some old Volkswagens. Those are cool. Uh oh, I see a camper. Got to go get that. Here's the cameraman using his fancy camera. Here's some Audis, but uh, surprisingly, no, no old Audis. I don't see any old Audis at all. Huh. There are not so many old Audis. Where are they? These are all... Very old brands. This is Cronum. Oh, come on now. Very nice. So which one? Which one is your favorite? No. From the Audis. We have to select an Audi. Which one? Here's a uh, M4 with some super fabulous wheels. Very impressive. Wow, it's got a roll cage in there and everything. Fancy wing on the back. I bet this rascal scoots. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a BMW. A little micro car. Complete with the front door here that opens. Allows access to the front seat. And then also, it's hard to see, but on the other side, there's another door for access to the back seat. Outstanding. The Renault Alpine. Very interesting. Very cool car for its day. Next door is the uh, Alpine Fuego. Excuse me, Renault Fuego. A little rotary engine back here. Isn't that nice? You have less, you have less uh, size of the engine for horsepower if you need it. DeLorean with the stainless steel body, gleaming in the sunlight. Interior is very nice. Some Pantaras. Here's a real live Michelin man. Wow, good for you. Uh oh, electric. Goodbye, Michelin Man. I think his name is Bib. Austin Mini Pickup. Very fun. Excellent. Here's some cool uh, European motorcycles. This guy gets the award for uh, stickiest tires. Look at those babies. Nice. Not familiar with the Greaves brand. The Greaves Ranger. Here's the history. All right, Matt, I'm going to ask you to tell us all about that special color, now that the sun's shining on it. Yes, sir. 
Tell me how special it is. They paint one in a, one a year, roughly, from the Ferrari factory, and it's Russo Marinello. It's a tricolor paint, so it's wow. three different colors of red layered on top of each other. Very impressive. Very impressive. Well, good afternoon. We're here with Jack Braden. We're here at the uh, Eurofest European Auto Automotive Festival in Greenville, South Carolina. All right, Jack, tell us, what's your favorite part of the show today? Uh, the forces is definitely the best, but I'm sitting right now in Maserati land. Yes. Uh, don't hold that against me. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on here. People look old and bored around here, but... Old and bored? Hey, wait a minute. Whatever the hell there. Right. You go to the exciting part of Porsche land. That's right. And... And when he says when he says Porsche, he's referring to Porsche, correct? Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Well, it's been a fun day. My favorite car, though, you asked? Sure. Uh, the 918 Spider. 918 Spider. Porsche. That is a great choice, and it's it is supercar category. It is a supercar indeed. Well, very good, Jack. Thank you for your insights and your comments. Oh, you might want to show your viewers. This little that, here. They've seen it before. Nobody wants to see that beat up old piece of crap anymore. All right, bye bye. And so that wraps up uh, our trip here to Greenville, South Carolina. Say goodbye to the Michelin Man. If I can get him in the screen, there he is. Goodbye. <laughs>